Good morning, friends. I'm so glad you're here. It's Mrs. G and I'm here at my house. And I'm glad you're here with us. Let's get started with our day with our bubblegum song. Are you ready? Let's tap our knees so we can sing. Bubblegum, bubblegum in a dish. How many pieces do you wish? I want to say good morning to Vera and Sadie and PJ. Good morning to Gavin and Parker and Christina. Good morning to Kendall and Brody and Ava. Good morning to Perry and Ryan and Elliot. And good morning to Addie and Carter and Sienna. That's 15 of us and I'm so glad you're all here. I wanted to show you something. What are these things? Do you know what this is? It's a fly. What about this? It's a beetle. Do you know what this is? A grasshopper. How about this with the pretty wings? It's a butterfly. How about this? It's a house spider. All of these things in front of me are bugs. And we're gonna be talking about bugs and insects all this week. Sometimes bugs have a special title and they're called an insect. And the way you can tell if a bug is an insect is by counting its legs. All insects have six legs. Do you have six legs? We just have two. So we're not insects. But I wonder if these bugs are insects. Let's count the legs and find out. All insects have six legs. Okay, here's the fly. Let's count his legs. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six. Six legs. This fly is an insect. How about this beetle? Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six. The beetle is an insect. How about the grasshopper? Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six. The grasshopper is an insect. He has six legs. How about our pretty butterfly? Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep, the butterfly is an insect. How about our spider, our house spider? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Our house spider has eight legs. Is he an insect? He is not. He's a bug, but not an insect. I had a few more I wanted to show you. Look at this guy. Who's that? Is it a bee? It is. Let's count his legs. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six. A bee is an insect. How about this ladybug? Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep, this ladybug is an insect. How about this guy up top? He's an ant. I wonder if he's an insect. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six. What are those things? Are those legs, those big things? Those are not. Those are called antenna. And an ant uses those to feel things. They're not his legs. An ant just has six legs. So an ant is also an insect. I thought we would sing a song together to help us remember that insects have six legs. Are you ready? Okay. I need one, two, three fingers here. And one, two, three fingers here. Are you ready? Here are the words. The ant, ladybug, and bee are not like you and me. They crawl on the wall, but they never fall. The ant, ladybug, and bee. Six little legs crawl up. Bloop. Six little legs crawl down. Bloop. Six little legs get tucked in when they fly around. The ant, ladybug, and bee are not like you and me. They crawl on the wall and they never fall. The ant, ladybug, and bee. Six little legs everywhere. Six little legs in a tree. Six little legs flying around. 
but not on me. I hope they don't land on me. One of my favorite insects is a butterfly. I have a picture of one here. Look how pretty he is. What color is he? He is blue, isn't he? Look at this pretty butterfly. He's called a monarch butterfly. Look at all of his colors, orange and black. Friends, are butterflies born looking like this? As you know, right? When a butterfly first is born, he is a caterpillar, kind of like this. Look at how long he is. This caterpillar is kind of walking on the on a stem of a leaf, isn't he? They kind of sometimes can be found in trees. Look at this cute little caterpillar. Can you see him? He's sitting on a leaf. Do you ever find caterpillars on the tree? You put your finger out and they crawl right on it. And they kind of tickle your finger. It's kind of fun. Well, today I thought we would make our own caterpillars. And here are some of the things that you will need to make your caterpillar. Okay, we're going to use some egg cartons and just some things that you find around your house. Maybe some scissors, maybe some crayons. I found some ribbon, pipe cleaners. I actually went into my kitchen. I found these. Do you know what these are? Toothpicks. I found some paints around my house and some glue. Whatever things you can find around your house are the things that you can use to make your caterpillar. Okay, so you take your egg cartons and you cut out a section. I cut out a section of three pieces. One, two, three. This is going to be my caterpillar. You can make your caterpillar shorter or longer. If you wanted to make a long piece, one, two, three, four, five, you can make a caterpillar that was five sections long. And then decorate your caterpillar any way you like. I wonder what you'll decorate your caterpillar like. You might want to use your crayons and color on here. Maybe you have toothpicks at your house. You want to see if you can stick them in somewhere. Maybe I can find a paintbrush and put some paint on my caterpillar. I wonder if I should give my caterpillar a name. Whatever you want to do to make your own caterpillar is, is wonderful. And we hope you do do that. And if you do, let's post a picture of it on our Facebook page. And then we can see all the caterpillars that our friends make. I think I'm going to take some time and make my own caterpillar. And maybe I'll post it on our Facebook page so you can see the caterpillar that Mrs. G makes. Have fun! Before we read our story for today, I thought I would show you this little book. It's on your mom and dad's computer in case you wanted to make your very own bug book for your house. You can print out these pages and then color the bugs the way you like. It's called Color Bugs. This is a spot for your name down there if you'd like to practice writing your name. And then you can color your ant, your butterfly, your ladybug, a grasshopper, and a dragonfly. Some of these pages say the bug is blue. You can color that bug blue or you can color it any color you want. It's up to you. Okay? Ask mom and dad if you want to do that. Today we're going to read The Very Hungry Caterpillar. So everybody get in a comfy spot. Are you ready? The Very Hungry Caterpillar by Eric Carle. This caterpillar eats some crazy things. Let's see what happens to him. Are you ready? In the light of the moon, a little egg lay on a leaf. There he is. One Sunday morning, the warm sun came up and pop! Out of the egg came a tiny and very hungry caterpillar. He started to look for food. On Monday, he ate through one apple. On Tuesday, he ate through two pears. On Wednesday, he ate through three plums. 
On Thursday, he ate through four strawberries. On Friday, he ate through five oranges. And all along, he was still hungry. On Saturday, he was still hungry and ate through one piece of cake, one ice cream cone, one pickle, one slice of Swiss cheese, one slice of salami, one lollipop, one piece of cherry pie, one sausage, one cupcake, and one slice of watermelon. That night, the caterpillar had a stomach ache. I bet he did. The next day was Sunday again. The caterpillar ate through one nice green leaf. And after that, he felt much better. Now he wasn't hungry anymore. And he wasn't a little caterpillar anymore. He was a big fat caterpillar. He built a small house called a cocoon around himself. He stayed inside for more than two weeks. Then he nibbled a hole in the cocoon, pushed his way out, and he was a beautiful butterfly. Wow, look at all those colors. I bet he's all the colors of the rainbow, isn't he? That caterpillar. He ate through a lot of food. Do you remember some of the things he ate through? On that very first day, what did he eat? Yeah. He ate an apple, didn't he? On the second, but he was still hungry after he ate that apple, wasn't he? So what did he eat next? Do you remember? Let's see an apple and then a pear. He ate through two pears and he was still hungry. So the next day he ate, anybody remember? That's right, three plums. The next day, because he was still hungry, he ate through, what was next? Do you remember? Four strawberries. Yummy, four strawberries, but he was still hungry. The next day, he ate through five oranges. Five oranges, can you believe it? And he was still hungry. Then, do you remember the funny, the silly things he started to eat? One piece of cake, an ice cream cone, a pickle. What else did he eat then? He ate, right, Swiss cheese, salami. What else? Remember this one? The lollipop. I bet that was yummy. He ate through a piece of cherry pie, a sausage, a cupcake, right? I wonder if it was chocolate or vanilla. And a slice of watermelon. That is a lot of food. Should we count how many things the caterpillar ate? Let's count with it. Count with me. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15. He ate through 15 things. No wonder he had a tummy ache. Friends, I'm so glad you were with us today. Mrs. Corker and I miss you so much, but we look forward to seeing you next time. I hope you all have a wonderful day with your mommies and daddies. See you soon.